I'm now at the Jiuquan Satellite Launch Center in Northwest China. And as you can see behind me, the Shenzhou 19 spacecraft coupled with the Long March 2F carrier rocket is now making its way to the launch pad. So this is a slow and steady journey of about 1.5 kilometers, usually taking about one hour and a half. But this solitary journey is anything but lonely, as a team of scientists and engineers accompany it every step of the way. It's a tradition of ours to personally escort the rocket to the launch pad. We keep a close eye on the weather. It's a good day for the transport because the wind is light and the temperature is mild. Wang Zhe is an engineer from the rocket system. The Long March 2F is China's only rocket for manned missions. It's got a cool nickname, Divine Arrow, due to its reliability. But despite its great track record, engineers continue to be hard at work looking to push the boundaries of safety and efficiency. During this mission, we optimize our timetable for working on a rocket from 37 to 30 days. We've also been refining the procedures. We've meticulously examined six key systems of the rocket, involving a total of 922 operational items to ensure accurate operation. We've implemented rigorous control measures for each of these critical tasks. China plans to send two crewed missions to the Tiangong space station every year. The current crew is nearing the end of their six-month stay. Soon, a new team of Taikonauts will be sent up to take their place on board the station. The combination of the rocket and the Shenzhou 19 spacecraft has now arrived on the launch pad. And that means we are now one step closer to witnessing yet another milestone in China's space industry development. Chen Ling, CGTN from the Jiuquan Satellite Launch Center.